So Mr. Sub suggested that we go and take a look and we do a little tier list about what my favorite matchups are, right? What are my favorite matchups to play? I've got a couple. I've got a couple. I think my, my, t my top tier favorite matchup to play, Jaina versus Arg, is my favorite. Oh no, TPK, this is just my favorite matchups to play. If, if I'm in a tournament and I happen to get a, get a match, what would, I, what would I prefer to play? What is the most uh, enjoyable thing for me? Jaina, I think, would scare an Arg more than Oni. Traditionally, I'd say Jaina versus Arg has been one of the worst matchups in the game. Jaina versus Arg is definitely up there. Not because it's a necessarily a good matchup for Jaina, which it is, but I think it's a super fun match to play. All of the back and forth and the risk reward kind of scenarios that you end up being put in are super interesting. And I think a good Arg player can really can really challenge a Jaina and a good Jaina player can really remove any options an Arg has um, and they force them to do something really unorthodox. It's always just such a fun matchup to play. So yeah, that's gotta be in my, my S tier matchups. Um, definitely another S tier matchup. It's gotta be, oh no, wait a second. I'm doing, boom. Valerie versus Lum. Once again, I know it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a good matchup for Val. It's just so much fun though. It's like, when I, when I played Janet yesterday at Toriyukin, that was like, beautiful for me in terms of what you can do with a character, what a player can do with great situational awareness. It's so fantastic. Yes, yes, I'm definitely, I am definitely, I'm not a tier whore, I'm definitely a matchup whore though. This is, this is kind of where I'm at, I think. Because this needs to be done, garbage tier matches. These are my two favorites. I love Jaina versus Arg, and I love Valerie versus Lum. I hate matchups against Oni. Doesn't matter who. Valerie, Jaina. <laughs> they're, they're all the worst. And if only because it never feels like it never feels like the matchups really matter, that the decisions that you're making truly matter. I always feel like it's a crapshoot and you're just kind of throwing stuff out there. Even the best matches, the best of the best, I've played amazing Oni players. They're fantastic players. They know what they're doing. But like, I don't feel like I can condition them necessarily into a certain position as Oni, because Oni's just gonna do Oni things. Fighting Oni sucks, as Purple Shirt says. Purple Shirt saying, each round comes down to one guess with versus Oni, and if you ever mess up a punish, you just explode. Right? It, it's so frustrating. Another one. Jaina, specifically, versus Rook. Has to be one of my least favorite matches in this whole game. Definitely on par with anything against Oni. Yes, TPK. Jaina versus Rook is one of my least favorite matchups if only because it is supposed to be an extremely good matchup for Jaina, and Rooks tend to have way more experience playing that match than I have experience playing against a Rook. When someone comes into a match against me, a really solid Rook player, they come into a match against me, they know what to expect and they know what they're facing. And I don't play that many Rooks, especially as Jaina, most people pick away. So when someone does pick, Rook against my Jaina, I'm almost always like, what the hell am I supposed to do? It forces me to play the game and play my Jaina in particular in a really weird way that I am not a fan of. So like, this has got to be on the bottom of the bottom of like my least favorite matches to play. Shoutouts to Mr. X for running Rook against my Jaina, right? Like, I know it's a hard matchup and it's just like, it's just in terms of what I get out of it. It's not, it's not, even when it's a great match, I'm always like, ugh, again. Yeah, Dr. Zeus opened your eyes. Rook Jaina and Rook Geiger are both 5-5. Five, five. I swear, you play some players and they make, they definitely, it's like, of course, that is an even matchup at best. But no, like, I don't think it's actually true from like a mathematical standpoint, but holy heck, like when, when a player knows what they're doing with a Rook, it doesn't feel like it's a bad matchup for them, right? Like, I think that's a testament to the players, really. I will say with some of the changes that have taken place in the last update, it does feel less hopeless when you're fighting a character like Oni or even Rook. Um, I know Rook didn't really change, but um, just like 
some of the things that's happening is you're like, okay, I can, I can deal with this a little bit better now. It feels a little bit more meaningful. And I hope that they're moving back towards that as a design goal. Either of my characters, actually any of my characters against Setsuki is actually a really fun match for me to play. Despite me hating Setsuki as a character for me to play as, I think she's super interesting, right? She has so much combo potential. She has such great crazy mix-up potential. She has like the widest, uh, the, the most button real estate in the game, and it allows her to do a little bit more in some situations. And I love seeing players explore that. Playing against a Setsuki, even if it's frustrating, even if I lose, is always enjoyable. I also think it goes back to... Um, like 2017 when I started playing this game, I was playing it a lot with Ducky and Ducky had picked up, she had picked up uh, Setsuki as her main. And so we played a lot of matches of my Jaina versus her Setsuki, my Rook versus her Setsuki. Uh, I played Grave at the time versus her Setsuki. So I always like, it's always, I got a soft spot in my heart for, for this matchup, to be perfectly honest. And when I see players like Mr. Sup and Menno and do crazy stuff with Setsuki, it's always so impressive. Sometimes the matchup actually works out like that. If I'm talking about how difficult the matchup is for me, a lot of the time I really struggle with Satsuki, to be honest. But I, I never feel like, I never feel like it's hopeless. I never feel like, it's always like, oh, I can learn from this. It's a shame she sucks ass. It's a, it is a shame Satsuki sucks, right? Because like, it's amazing to me that given all of her tools and given everything, that like her speed, her, her mix-up potential, that she ends up not being as dominant and as much of an issue as she could be in theory. Especially now, where I think a lot of players have latched onto Setsuki as a character that is like, right, that, that has this potential. So they've been focusing on her a little bit more and trying to discover some new stuff. Valerie, I've actually got, she's middle of the road. I play her, I can't be too mad when I lose to her or when I face her. So she's right there in the middle, she's the B tier. No matter what character I'm playing with, I think there's some cool interplay between Valerie and Jaina with I'm able to reversal her, um, a lot of her built-in mix-ups. She has to play the keep away game from me or like the back off game and tries to do the shimmy. That's really fun. I like that interplay. I remember when I started playing Valerie, my, in my first thing was, holy crap, I can actually challenge people in the air, which like I could never properly challenge a Valerie with, um, with my Jaina's jump A or anything. So that's what we got. That's what we got Valerie. Right below her, the Quants. The Quants. Um, I am going to ignore for a moment the fact that Quints can trigger migraines in me. And I'm going to say, if you get through that poor bit of visual design, Quants doesn't annoy me anywhere near as much as Oni and Rook does, but he's definitely freaking annoying. I don't want to play against that dude most of the time. But in all honesty, all the changes that came through this last patch make it that much more bearable. Much like with Oni, where it's like it's becoming a more enjoyable matchup as they make these changes. Quince is becoming a more enjoyable matchup, and I think that's why I can inch him up into, into C tier there in terms of how much I enjoy this. Yeah, there's fun in fighting Quince if you love suffering. The Quince mirror is awesome because it's a mirror and then you throw out mirrors, and so if you like mirrors in your mirrors, then you've got the matchup for you. Where do we where do we put the Midori? Where do we put the Midori? I mean, let's be honest. He's a freaking dragon. It is always fun to see a freaking dragon. This character used to annoy the heck out of me. When Fantasy Strike first officially launched, I would have dumped this this I've ever no. Yeah, I would have dumped this dude right down into the bottom, right down to that D tier. He would have been over here, maybe in this bottom corner. Maybe I'd like inch him out over there. That is where he would be. But as more characters have been added as the game has changed. I think you can do a lot of really cool stuff. And it's so, like, dragon moments can be so hype. And so, even when I get bodied by something, I'm always like, oh, that was freaking amazing. Or if it was a cool, like, cross-up torpedo setup. You know, some, like, awesome play with your empowered throws. There's so much great potential to see in a Midori match. So, definitely one of my more enjoyable ones to play. Dragon freeze frame to catch you doing some BS options are always hype. Absolutely. Those callouts, those like peak callouts are always great. The gray is up there too. Um, this might be, there might be an exception to this if I play as Jaina, but that's why I don't play Jaina versus DeGray because that is an exercise in frustration. But by and large, I think DeGray is also a very interesting character. Also has some really cool combo potential. And I always love seeing what a DeGray player kind of 
puts together as their game plan, like what frame traps do they go for? How do they condition you for it? What are the risks that you're able to take or willing to take? What kind of chip setups do you have? There's a lot of really cool nuance to the character that is always super fun to see when you get into a match. Our good friend Geiger goes down into C tier. He is still not fun to play against. With all of the, the matchup stuff that has changed in the past year, this man is still so frustrating to play against. Not as bad as the worst of the worst, but definitely up there with the quances of the world, where you can do something about it, just usually isn't entertaining. And I think that's, uh, that's pretty reasonable in terms of where we should put that guy. Grave can go and join Valerie, if only because I've had to change so much of my game plan in order to play against this character. So much of what I had to do, I had to abandon Jaina and pick up an entirely new character that I didn't want to play, Valerie, just so I could play someone. Oh, I'm spacing on their name now. There was an amazing Grave player who was in all of the early Fantasy Strike tournaments and then they, uh, they kind of fell by the wayside. I literally had to learn a whole new character just so I could deal with them in tournament. So I can, I can appreciate the nuance of the, of the, of the matchup now, it's still very hard to play. Grave is still, a good Grave is still so freaking annoying. I don't know, I can't, even after seeing some of the Grave play in Toriyuken yesterday, I can't in good conscience put them anywhere lower than B tier. I miss old Tatsu 2 purple shirt. The old Tatsu was great. I mean, it led to such strong, unbelievable Oki where it gave you the hard knockdown. It was a cross up, you could same side. Go with the jump haze, which was also an amazing button. TPK, given me the segue that I need. All mirror matches are some of my least favorites. This is where the mirror match goes. Also, this is where Jaina belongs, in the garbage tier of enjoyable matches. I, I literally picked up Jaina when I started playing this game, because I'm like, I never want to have to fight against her. Ever. So I'm going to convince people that she is like, she's not, not worth it. This is, this is the asshole character to play. You don't want to play the asshole character. You go be a fucking dragon, right? You go, you go be a weeb and swing a sword around and throw some clouds, right? But you don't touch Jaina because you have to be a horrible person to play this character. But these mirror matches are unreal. No, no, I do not, I do not like it. I think part of it is the frustration that knowing that like, I have all the tools that they have, but if they're winning, they're using those tools better. I think that's just like frustrating on a mental level. But also I love like, I love the asymmetry, right? I love the asymmetry of a lot of fighting games. And so having the different characters just builds that in so much. And we're able to play with our different strengths and weaknesses and see how they overlap, as opposed to being like, here are your strengths and weaknesses, let's see who can cope better. Um, that is certainly interesting in its own right, but in terms of how much I enjoy them, nah. And this is also partly why I like 1v1 as a, as a competitive format, because it gives players the opportunity and the ability to, to choose. If it's something that you hate, if it's something you can't deal with, you at least have the option to move away like once. Someone can counterpick you, and that's a risk you have to take, but it's something you can do. Yo, the Arg Mirror. Legitimately, like, you go and look at some of these mirror matches, like, the Arg Mirror is such a freaking slobber knocker. Like, you... It is... They are swinging at the fences. It is so unbelievable. The things that they do, and, like, the amount of fish and projectiles being exchanged, it is so freaking wild. And same with the, like, Oni Mirrors. They get so wonky. Foul Mirrors get so scrambly. It is... Oh. The mirror matches end up in a lot of weird places sometimes, I think. All right, but there you go. There you go, folks. The Mr. MKL's favorite to least favorite types of matchups. Jaina versus Arg, Val versus Lum. So much fun. Just fun and interesting and, and happy and crazy. I got a soft spot for the Satsuki. Who doesn't love dragons? And DeGray can be so hype with his tech. So you gotta love it up there. I mean, I am a Valerie. How can she be anywhere less than middle of the road here? I got to appreciate her as much as I hate her. Then we got Grave who can be so technically good that you have to appreciate it, but it can be so frustrating sometimes and knows how to really piss you off as a player. And then we get into the problems, the Quances, the Gigers, the Onimarus. These ones are not fun to play. Rook, specifically Jaina versus Rook. I'm sorry, I just don't, I can't, I hate that match. And then the Mirrors. I'm with TPK on this. 
We we spoke about this, I think, before. The mirror matches. Gotta go. Could you imagine a fighting game where all you had were mirror matches? This is why I don't play Street Fighter 1. This is good, though. Thank you, Mr. Sup, for the suggestion. I had a lot of fun going through and uh, giving you some thoughts on this. Join us in Stun City for Fantasy Strike, folks. It's our bi-weekly tournament. I'm going to be around Mondays and every other Wednesday here doing some niche fighter stuff. Maybe I'll do some more match analysis, and I really hope to see all you folks there.